Hey, you bougie babes. Welcome to my office. Hey Bougie Bays, my name is Gabrielle Michelle and welcome to my office. For those of you who have been with me since we filmed our empty house tour a, almost a year ago, I know you've been waiting to see something, anything, what have they decorated? Well, this is one of the few rooms that is mostly fully decorated. There are still some things that I would like to do in this office space, but it's good enough for me to share with you guys. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my husband bought our first home last year. It has almost been a year and we are taking our time to furnish our home and put the right items in here instead of items for right now because we want to save our money and not waste it on items that we're not going to keep for a very long time because we're bougie on a budget. You got it. I know you guys were thinking it. So I'm excited to show you around what I've done in this space. This is my office space. It's also used as my studio space. So majority if not all actually no all of my filming has been in this room and i would like to show you guys what i've done with it so far and tell you about the few things that i think i want to add as we continue but let's go ahead and i will take you around the room so before we really get into going around the room and what i've done with it i want to talk about the size of the room i feel like with a lot of these kinds of videos and decorate decorating videos and home tours you don't really get to see the sizes of things which makes it really complicated when you're trying to gauge your space right so this room is roughly 10 and a half uh feet by 12 foot that is the size of this overall room so with that in mind it is a pretty i guess it's not a, a big room i don't i wouldn't say it's small but it's about the size of a small bedroom and i with that in mind we weren't gonna have a whole lot of space, so I wanted to be very mindful of the spacing that I did have with the amount of activities that needed to go down in this office. So for me, I decided not to go with a traditional desk. I had seen pictures on Pinterest of round tables, round desks, um, and office spaces and clothes because for a while I was kind of floating the idea of this being a clothes. And I thought, you know what? I am gonna go ahead and go with a smaller table. So this is like a two person, table it's an indoor outdoor table that i actually found on facebook market it is actual marble this is real marble um and what i decided to do is i upcycled that spray painted the bottom base gold because it's just an iron base it is a very heavy table so it's sturdy and i really like the idea of having actual real marble in here so i went ahead and decided to make this as my desk and paired it with two chairs these are chairs that i also found on facebook market and I went ahead and reupholstered them, probably the most difficult reupholstery that I've ever done, just because I had never done chairs like this before. So I was really excited to do that, found some fabric from Hobby Lobby, and decided that this is gonna be my office space area. It's easy for filming, it's easy if someone's coming in and chat, me and my sister will come in here and chat, Chanel will come in here and chat, and we can just have a good time in the office space. So I wanted a non-traditional desk that would not take up as much space, that wasn't gonna be facing the wall, because if I did a normal desk, I would want it probably floating, because I, I I don't like the idea of you walking in and I can't see, you can see me, but I can't see you coming into my office, that, that made me feel weird. But I decided to go with this, and I think it looks really nice, it doesn't take up a lot of space, this table's heavy, I can slide around and move it if I need to, because sometimes when I'm filming my fashion videos on this side of my room, which we'll get into in a moment, this table does get in the way of the filming. So it is easy enough to slide out of the way, small enough to not take up too much room, and I absolutely love it. But that being said, this is my desk. I have to have my name on my desk. Of course, because I'm a co-owner of Drink Cosmetics. Oh, you haven't heard of it? Well, now you have. I'm currently wearing it on my eyes. I'm wearing the Martini Palette. We have two palettes, Martini Palette, Whiskey Palette. Check out the website. They are super affordable, pigmented, beautiful. You will absolutely love it. Trust me, go ahead and go over to that site when you get a chance and go ahead and get you a couple of pounds. So I wanted to keep this space to look visually appealing, obviously. So we have to add in some artwork and what better than a little DIY artwork with my saying, live luxe. Because you know, I am all about that over here. I say it at the end of every single video. So have to remind everybody who's walking by, if you didn't know what office this was, this is a luxe place office slash drink office. It's multifunctional over here. But I went ahead and did really simple artwork. I literally took letters from Hobby Lobby that you use for like scrapbooking and stock paper and put them in some cool frames. Super simple, really easy, but 
it adds to the room. Maybe I'll put something different here in the future, but I think this is a great uh, start for my office. Because I wanted to keep the room looking appealing to the eye as you walk by, I decided to put up bookshelves in my office. I saw no way around this. I only imagined having bookshelves in my office. So I got these from Target. For those of you who want to see how I decorated these bookcases, you can go over to that video. I will link it up above and you will see where I shopped, what I got, how I decided to decorate things. These look a slightly different than they did the first time with a few extra pieces like our martini glass from Drink Cosmetics. If you're not a, a makeup wearer, you can also buy our martini glass. We have a few of those left over. Um, but also just the items that I needed. On the left side of me right here, we have our fashion items and on the right side are more of my makeup items just to kind of utilize those, those as different storage and decorative, decorative pieces in the office for you to use. This is my fashion side of the room, or my fashion corner, if you will. And I picked this side of the room of the office for a couple of reasons. One, the way I was filming at the time, I was mostly filming fashion videos and I needed a further distance for my camera based off of how I was filming. Um, and I have the window directly across from me so I can use that natural sunlight in the event that I actually film before the sun goes down, which is a rare occasion in this household. But I just needed a couple things for this side of the room to keep it very simple, but it looks good. It makes a good backdrop for a fashion video. So what are those items? Clothing rack and a mirror. Super easy. This clothing rack I got from Ikea, it was like 10 bucks. Probably the simplest thing you can ever put together at Ikea because I hate Ikea furniture. It's horrible to put together, but this one was pretty easy. So I would highly, highly recommend $10 and then I can display my clothing here beautifully. So it could be decor pieces, pieces that I am filming, photographing. I use this area a lot just to put ideas together and what I'm gonna utilize and film. So that's what's here. And then I just took my mirror that you can check out over on luxpress.com on how I made this mirror. This mirror um, was a basic mirror for Target that my husband got me and I, you know, gave it more of that French antique vibe by buying some appliques from Lowe's and painting it gold. So that keeps this side of the room very, very easy. And I added a decor piece, which you can't really read because the light is reflecting off of this glitter. I've had this for years. I've had friends who want it, but they will never, ever, ever get it because I am obsessed with the sign. It says hashtag fashionista because that's what I am. And I decided to put that above my clothes because this is my fashion corner. Makes sense. It's right next to the fashion side of my bookcase. And I can do a lot of filming in this area. And I just absolutely love it. This side of the room, really simple. We do have a window, so I didn't want to do a whole lot over here. I didn't want to obstruct the natural light that does come in. However, I did have to put curtains. I could not get away with not doing any curtains. I think curtains are very important. Think of curtains like your mascara for your lashes, for those of you who wear your falsies, for your interior spaces. And for Design Tip 101 to elongate the window itself and make the room feel a lot grander. Because if you look at the room from this side, it just seems like way, way bigger and that the ceiling is way, way taller. Kind of another thing, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're doing, we only have eight foot ceilings in here. The ceilings in here are pretty small in comparison to newer homes. So I wanted the room to feel a bit bigger. So I, what do you do? You hang your curtains as high as you can to the highest point. And I decided to use this beautiful golden cor curtain rod that I found on Amazon because you can find everything on Amazon. And these pink linen curtains that I got from Ikea. I am, you know, irresponsible and I bought these a long, long time ago. And instead of returning them, and measuring properly. I got ones that are way too long, so I had to cut off the bottom, which is not my proudest moment, but it works. It helps the room look grand from this angle. I've decided just to put this small table, that this table does kind of float around the room. It is used as a computer stand because I do use a reflector on my camera so I can see as a monitor. It is used, you know, to hold extra makeup items if there's not enough space on the table when we're filming happy hour or filming uh, TikToks for drinking here, but uh, for now, this is what's gonna work for here. I do in the future think I wanna do like a bench or something over here or a poop, some extra seating because I feel like that will look a little bit nicer, but this works for now. I think this is really cool. So that's this side of the office, nothing grand, nothing major. 
Um, I do, a couple things I do also want to change is I need to add in some creative storage for lighting. So my lights are just kind of in the way. Um, I want them to be stored nicely so it doesn't make the room look cluttered. Um, but yeah, no, this side is really, really simple. There's not much to see over here. It's just a window and a bookcase. But I can use this for filming as well. I don't know what I would film. Maybe I'd film like home decor videos over here. <laughs> but you can do a lot over here. Um, there's still a little extra space to work with. But this is the other side of the room. Not much to see here. All right, guys, that's really all of it. I, like I said, the space is not huge, so there wasn't a lot to see. And I don't have a lot of things in the office because I need it to be a fluid space that I can film from every single angle. The couple of things that I would like to add into the office that I haven't done yet is I do need to decorate the doors. I do need to put up curtains because this room is not always this clean. I love it when it is, but if anyone's ever filmed a TikTok or YouTube video or anything, uh, it does get messy, especially if you're filming fashion videos and clothes end up everywhere. It can be a bit chaotic in here. And because this office is right off the front door, I want it to be concealed in the event that it is messy and we have company. Um, I also want to add in doorknobs, different doorknobs, because the silver ones do not match the aesthetic going on in here. Um, to kind of match similar to the ends of the curtain rod, something a little crystal to give that classic vintage elegance. I think that would really match what's going on in this room. Maybe some more artwork, um, a bench, you know, maybe a display of my hats. I'm not really certain yet what else I want to do in here, but I will take you along as I do and as I find new things that will work perfectly in this office. Sorry it's taken so long for this to be uploaded, but like I said, this is probably the most decorated room in the house outside of Marcus's office. Marcus's office is pretty decorated as well. Um, we're actually about to rearrange his office based off of um, what he needs in there because he does work on his music in there. Um, as we continue to update our home and as I make artwork for our living room, which that will be coming soon, um, and make things, I will continue to give you tours and how-to guides on how we've decorated our home. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out luxplease.com. There'll be a blog on how I reupholstered my chairs and about this table. And you can also check out the blog about the um, mirror and how I did that. I will link that down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out some of my other videos. Come join me on Wednesdays at noon. And like I say always, don't forget to live Lux. Bye guys.